Yo, what is up, guys? It's Pedro here. So today we got some big news. So Washington has hired Terry Bateman as executive vice president and chief marketing officer. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how this affects the name changing process and the timetable. I'm also going to be talking about how this will affect Ron Rivera in the long term and short term. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. So I'm going to read the official statement and then we'll get into it. So Washington announced today they have named Terry Bateman as executive vice president and chief marketing officer. He takes the role immediately. This is what Dan Snyder said. Terry Bateman is a man I trust and have worked with for many years. Key uh, word, many years, said Dan Snyder. I can't think of a better individual to help spearhead this organization marketing efforts into this new era. Bateman will be leading the charge on the name change and branding process along with owner Dan Snyder. He will also oversee all the team's marketing activities, sponsor relations, internet and broadcast media operations, and overall business strategy. The thing that I do not like at all, like I said, Dan Snyder said he's worked with him for many years and the culture has been bad for a long time. So bringing someone back that was a part of your bad culture isn't necessarily the best idea, but we'll get into that uh, in a bit. Uh, we're going to get some takes from former Redskins employees on what they think about Terry Bateman. So he said, Terry Bateman said, I'm, I am very excited to be joining the organization at such a critical moment in history. I want to thank Dan for giving me the opportunity to come back and provide my perspective and expertise while we work to develop a new era for this proud franchise. Bateman has been an executive in sports, entertainment, and media industries for over 40 years and will be heading the Washington organization's marketing initiatives. So you guys can read his uh, track record right here, but he's worked with us for a long time before. I'll read something right here. So we already saw this right here, but Bateman has been a longtime advisor to Snyder. And in 2006, he was named Washington's chief marketing officer. He has taken a behind-the-scenes role in recent years, but this expands his job once again. He'll have similar duties uh, as Brian Lafamina did. So he's been here for a long time before. Snyder and Bateman have worked together for a long time for, from a 2006 press release. During the 1990s, Bateman was president of Snyder's Communications. So he's worked with Snyder for a long time, which is not a good thing. Here's what Barstool Nate said. So Former Redskins employee checking in about Terry Bateman and the new culture in Washington. So this is a former employee uh, giving their take. I worked there for just under a decade. Terry Bateman was there most of that time. Behind Larry Michael, he was probably my second least favorite person there. More than Bruce. Lies to employees all the time. Just tries to keep uh, Dan happy. The poster child for yes men everywhere. So pretty much... He just wants to make Dan happy and just keep his job, which is not what you want, especially when you're trying to change the culture. And the thing I just don't understand is why are you bring a guy back that has been. I know it makes a little bit of sense because you've had a good relationship for with him for a long time. But bringing people back that were part of the toxic culture in the 2000s is not the best idea. And who knows if he had anything to do with it. but. I just, it doesn't make too much sense. And it is good, though, that we are hiring someone at this position because the position says, or so Terry Bateman to oversee their business operations. He will have the title of executive vice president and chief marketing officer. So he's going to be in charge of the branding, the name change, and all of that. So that takes away a lot of pressure from Ron Rivera and it gives him the chance to focus on football instead of all this other uh, nonsense that he shouldn't have to focus on. So he's going to be focusing on just football, which is what he should be focusing on. He really never should have brought been brought into this name change uh, situation. I didn't like that at the time. And I think at least this is the right hire for that. At least making a hire was the right decision. I'm not so sure about this individual, but it's better than not having anyone and having your head coach who's in the middle of his first season with your organization, having him decide or help decide your name. I think it's good to get someone that has experience that will be able to do this. And the thing that I'm wondering is if he's bringing him on to help 
oversee all the team's marketing uh, activities and help change the name. Well, how long has he been working on the name? Because if he just came in today, then it might be a while before they rebrand and everything. I don't know. More stuff's going to come out. It's been a busy couple of weeks, but I so far, I do not like the reaction that uh, we've gotten from other people, former uh, Redskins employees that say they didn't like him at all. They said they liked him less than Bruce Allen, which is saying a lot. Um, they liked him better than Larry Michael, but that's pretty much it. And you don't want someone that's just trying to stick around to get their job, just trying to satisfy the owner. We'll see, though. I want to hear what you guys think about this hire. Again, I like the um, idea of hiring some someone to help rebrand and everything and change your name. But the thing I do not like is getting someone that's been part of this toxic culture that everyone's talking about for a very long time. I'll read what uh, J.P. Finley said. Big business news for Washington football is Terry ba- uh, Bateman gets named. Uh, we already talked about that. My guess is that means Ron Rivera doesn't have to answer so many questions on business operations. Like I said, it's good that Ron Rivera can focus on just football because, like I said earlier, he's an NFL head coach and he should not be worrying about uh, being the second leading guy in changing a football franchise's name when he's the head coach. He just needs to worry about coaching his team and maybe some uh, say in who he wants to sign, but that's pretty much it. And yeah, I want to hear what you guys think. And it's going to be a busy week. Who knows what this means for the timetable? I assume it's still the same. I think they are still working on the trademark issues. I want to see one thing I heard from one of someone who I follow. He said, was told Golden State Warriors have trademarked essentially every useful Warriors that you could think of except for football. But that includes all merchant, uh, merchandise. This could be the legal issue we were uh, currently working around. So he's pretty much saying that um, it could the holdup could be just that the Dan Snyder and the, uh, them are going through legal disputes with the Golden State Warriors, trying to get the trademark available, maybe paying them some money. I don't know. But we'll see. Some people think it's going to happen soon. Some people think it's going to happen in a long time. We will see, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think about Terry Bateman. Again, like the decision of hiring someone for this rebranding and choosing the name, but don't like it that it was Terry Bateman because he's had a long, long uh, history with Dan Snyder, and we don't want someone. We don't want someone that's scared of him that is isn't gonna back down to him. So. Or that is going to back down to him. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And peace.